Okay, uh, in this uh, video, we are going to discuss about the uh, card set matrix. Now, this is the fourth matrix that we are going to discuss in the graph theory or the network topology. The first matrix that we have discussed is the instant matrix, then second is the reduced matrix, and then the third matrix is tri set matrix, and this is the fourth matrix, it's a card set matrix. Now, in the card set matrix, it gives the relationship between the branch voltage and the node voltage. Now let's see what's been my node voltage first. The voltage at each node with respect to reference node is called the node voltage. And the potential difference between the node voltages are called the branch voltage. So you have to know that uh, you have to know what's mean by branch voltage, you have to know what's mean by node voltage. Then if you know what's mean by node voltage and branch voltage, and this uh, relationship then is given by the Cut set matrix. So this cut set matrix is the matrix which gives the relationship between the node voltage and the branch voltage. Now, in case of the tri set matrix, it gives the relationship between the loop current and the branch current. Now, in this case, it's giving the relationship between the node voltage and the branch voltage. Now let's say the let's see how the formation of the cut set matrix. Now it's represented by the CI. Now the same step from the given graph, uh, from the given network, we have to do the graph, the oriented graph, and then from the oriented graph, we have to select the tree. Now from the given graph, you can draw uh, different types of tree, right? From that, you can select one tree, and then after that, we have to again assign the reference node. Now reference node with more branch instant to that node is chosen. Then after that, the branches around each node, except reference node, are cut to form the cut sets as shown in figure below. Okay, let's see. Now, if this is the graph that we have, okay, now in this case, we have selected this node D as a reference node. Now, while selecting the reference node, okay, while, uh, okay, while forming the cut set matrix, while cutting this one, we have uh, we have cut node A, node B, and node C. While cutting this one, you should cut only one of the tweak. If you're cutting two tweak or three tweak, then you're not forming the cut set matrix. That's uh, our uh, attempt is wrong in that in that case. So while cutting the node, you have to cut only one tweak then you can cut many as many as like the to cut the link it doesn't matter we don't have any uh, restrictions but to cut the uh, tweak you have only uh, you have to cut only one then again at the node b we are cutting only one tweak that tweak number 2 and node c also we are cutting uh, only one tweak not uh, tweak number 3 now this is how we have to cut then after cutting this one we have to form the matrix now now to form the matrix again we have to select which one is row and which one is column okay uh, to select the row uh, that node voltages should be given as a row and then to, uh, for the uh, column the branch voltages are taken as a column now about the entries about the elements if the row if the arrow is pointing from higher potential to lower potential now how we will know it's pointing from higher potential to lower potential uh, for example if it is uh, if we are considering between the reference node and the one of the node if the arrow is pointing from the reference node to the uh, one of the node then we have to give plus sign for the higher potential okay let's simply read this one if the arrow is pointing from higher potential to lower potential, we assign plus one. If pointing from lower potential to higher potential, we give negative. And then zero is given if the branches are not instant to that node. So usually we take that the reference node as zero potential. Okay, let's see. Form the Carson matrix for the graph shown below. Now for this one, it's an oriented graph and the T is also given we have to form the Carson matrix. Now for this one, okay, we are taking this 
D as a reference, and then we are cutting the node A, node B, and node C. And then from this, okay, we have to form like this. Okay, uh, it's quite difficult to explain. Let me explain with the other. Okay, uh, for this one, we have to form the cut set. First, we have to form the cut set. Now, to form the cut set, we have to select, okay, if you're taking at the node A, node A, so node A, we have tweak one, then link four and link six. For this one, let's form the cut. Okay, it's quite uh, difficult. Okay, and now for this one, at the node A, I form the cut graph, like uh, we have node A here, and then this node A is linked to the, uh, the node D and then to node C and node B. Now comparing with this one, I'm taking the C, B and D as a reference node. Now for this one, okay, let's, arrow direction is already given. So let's put the index here from A to C. It, okay, from a branch A, from this node, node A and the okay, relationship between node A and the node C. Relationship between node A and the branch C which means is flowing from higher potential to lower potential, we can give plus one here. And then again, four also, we can give plus one. And then similarly for the branch one, it's again plus one. Raise, you have to enter zero, zero, and zero. And then similarly, you can also form the cut graph for the node B, also cut graph for node C. Okay, let's do it together. Okay, I formed the graph for the uh, other two nodes as well, for the node B and the node C. And then we have reference node D. Okay, reference node D, we're not including that one in the cut set matrix. Now for the node A, we have entered the elements. And then for the node C, okay, let's check. Okay, let's go in sequence. For the node B, it is linked to the node A, C, and D. Now we are taking this one as a reference. And then, okay, let's enter the elements for the uh, node B. Node B and the branch, uh, node B and the branch voltage V1, they are not related, so let's enter zero. And then similarly, uh, let's do it for uh, the branch two, okay? Uh, is for, uh, flowing from higher potential to lower potential. We have to give plus one. And then for the, again, branch three is also flowing from higher potential to lower potential. So we have to give plus one. And then for the branch four, is from lower potential to higher potential. So we have to give negative one. And then for five and six, it's not related. We have to give zero. And then similarly, you can enter for the node C. Okay, now these are the elements of the entry that we have. Okay, that's a small mistake. Uh, in the node B, we have branch four, two, and five. Previously, I have written branch four, two, and three is five, okay? And then arrow direction is also a mistake. Okay, arrow direction is the five is pointing towards point B, okay? It should be like this. Which means, now when you change this one, you doesn't have for three, so it should be zero. And then for four is pointing upwards minus, and then for five also, it should be negative one. So that's it. So this is how we should form the Carson matrix. And then similarly for the Carson matrix, we can apply the Kirchhoff's current law and then determine the branch voltage, branch current, node voltage, and then the loop current. So this uh, we will discuss in the uh, next video.